Hey and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're actually going to be talking about something a bit different. So we're actually going to be talking about where to find an iOS job and also tips and tricks to help you on your job hunt. Now it's worth noting that this video is actually for everyone at all levels. So from entry to senior. So let's get straight into it. So starting off with our first tip, I'd highly recommend that you get yourself a LinkedIn. So what LinkedIn is, is it's basically like a networking platform for professionals to connect with one another, but it's actually recruiters on this site as well. And you can actually look for jobs on this site as well to basically help you find a job. So just to show you this, this is actually my profile on LinkedIn. And as you can see, I basically got all the information relating to me. So I have basically got my job title, where I work, about me, featured um, my activity on the site experience education skills recommendations from people accomplishments and so on and so forth so you can see here that this is almost like an online cv so if someone was looking for a developer like me they could simply go into my profile and basically see whether i'm a match now it's also worth noting as well that if you actually look at my profile i actually do include keywords in terms of what's relating to my current role as well and i basically um you know specify these keywords so if someone was looking for someone with skills in swift or swift ui or ios or whatever um i would appear now you may be wondering if you're a junior like okay so how do i even put my accomplishments on linkedin i haven't even had a job before or i haven't had any experience that's fine so if you're someone who's actually new, I would put your experience to your previous work. So if you've worked another job before, you can put it in there and put some of the skills that you learned from that job, i.e., you know, communications are really important skill, put that down. Organizations an important skill, put that down. Now, if you're someone who's never ever had a job in their life, then I'd highly recommend that you basically just show off what it is that you've learned so far in your iOS journey. So a good example is let's look at my page here. So on my featured page, I actually featured my YouTube channel. So I basically, I'm showing this to people that if you want to see more about me and what I do, you can click on this link and learn more about me. And if I scroll down, there's actually a section called accomplishments. So you can actually put your accomplishments in there as well. So I'd make the most out of these two areas and feature your work that's important to you. So if you built an app, put it in the featured. If you've also learned a new skill, put it in the featured. If you've face a challenge and you, you know, you found a way to tackle it and you had to plan it and break it down, da, 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 just put it in a feature. So use this as a way to show off and flex on the recruiters so you can basically show them what it is that you've got. There's also another feature on LinkedIn as well, which basically helps recruiters basically just filter through and just search with people, you know, like you. Now, not everyone's a fan of recruiters. Reveal, let me tell you something. So if you're not a fan of recruiters, then, you know, maybe this might not be for you. But if you do want recruiters to do the work for you, then, hey, let's jump in in it. We go to open to, there's basically a option here called finding a new job. So if you go to this section here, you can actually search for job titles that you actually want. So in, for example, if I just put iOS developer, you can see here, I can search for iOS developer or engineer or whatever title that I want. And then I can basically look for that. And you can see here, there's options in terms of what it is that I want. So if I'm open to remote work or the time I can start working and the job types that I want, um, I can basically choose all of that. And this option down here basically allows you to basically just show people that you're actually looking for work. So this first option here puts a sticker on your um, you know, profile picture, as you can see, and it literally shows it to everyone. So even people that you're working with will know that you're looking for a job. But if you're not really, you know, if you're fine with people seeing that, then go for this option. If you only want recruiters to see that you're looking for work, then you can press the second one. And then essentially what will happen is you'll basically be put in a, like a list and recruiters can basically look for you as well. So if you want to add in the functionality for people to do the work for you, I'd recommend this feature 100%. So obviously COVID happened and we're having to work from home, uh, most of us. So if you're not watching this whilst you're in COVID, then you're probably enjoying life and sipping on Tango Ice Blast. So enjoy that. But if you are watching this during COVID, then, you know, a lot of options have opened up in terms of remote working and a lot of companies as well are actually opening up the options to work remotely. So this site here is called Remote OK. And what this site does is it specifically shows jobs that offer remote work. 
So you can go on this site and you can look for iOS jobs. And as you can see here, there's actually quite a few iOS jobs uh, relating to remote working. So I'd highly check out. This. And if you're someone who's interested in working for a company remotely, then this site might be the one for you. Oh, I'm over here now. <laughs> oh, um, if you didn't. <laughs> Oh my. So um, what you could also do as well is you can actually look for jobs in um, Google as well directly. So as you can see, there's a search for this where I basically put in iOS developer jobs in Manchester and I basically get this like little job board here by Google. So I just click on the link here. What it will actually do is it'll actually give me all the jobs that have been indexed by Google so I can actually look directly into each job. And there's also, also there's also a little like switcher here at the bottom, which allows me to set up alerts with my Gmail account. So I'll get emails whenever a new job appears um, and whatnot. So I'd highly check this out and set this up as another, you know, resource in terms of finding um, a job. Another good site as well is this one called iOS Dev Jobs. So this site, I really like it um, in terms of the way that it looks and it's been laid out and whatnot. And it actually has a nice mixture of jobs which are remote full time and even the companies as well are actually really really interesting so with this site you can see just by looking at some of the jobs they have swip ui jobs they have junior ios developer jobs here in canada and it's remote and so on and so forth so i'd highly check out this site, ios dev jobs to look for ios developer jobs and also as well if you subscribe to the newsletter you'll basically get a new like list of jobs every single monday and um, so it's really good and highly recommended so also as well i bet you didn't know this but on hacking with swift which everyone uses there's actually a job board as well so if you go to careers at the top here there's actually a section here called find a job so you can see here there's actually a list of all the possible jobs that have been posted on this site and if you look at it there's actually quite a range some of the ios dev jobs are really interesting jobs that i am look really good and some of these jobs are actually very very you know big companies so an example is here you've got an example of working with you know amazon so i definitely check out and um, this site as well so this is a really good chat site and big shout out to paul as well as you can see on my computer i've got twitter so people actually do post jobs on twitter and also retweet um other people if you know someone else is looking for a job so i'd highly recommend that you actually get involved in the ios twitter community and just looking here on my um smono you can actually see someone's looking um for a ios remote developer um at a fintech company in um, london which may be an interesting opportunity for you now um if you're someone who hasn't really been involved or hasn't really got started with the iOS community, then it nicely rolls onto my next point where I'd like to give you some tips in terms of how to actually get involved and get started with networking with others in this community. So if you're new to the iOS uh, community, then there's actually this great monthly event that was started by someone called Alan Weary. Alan, I hope I've said your name right. If not, um, but essentially what this is, is it's basically a monthly event um, called iOS uh, Dev Happy Hour. So it's basically a chilled, relaxed environment for new experienced developers to just get together and have a great time. So the good thing about this event is people actually share their stories and whatnot. And also as well, there's also people who offer stuff like mentorships and sometimes people even offer um, roles as well. So there's a lot of opportunities that could help you get your foot into the door of iOS development in terms of either actually getting a job or just getting advice from other people as well. And just meeting new people as well, because, you know, networking is a really important thing in our community and in anything in life, to be honest with you. Um, you want to, you know, meet new people, learn from their experiences and grow as a person. So I'd highly recommend that you register at this event and basically, you know, join it and get started. So yeah, definitely recommend high West Dev, uh, definitely recommend iOS Dev Happy Hour. But yeah, man, Alan, that's a bit difficult to say, man. <laughs> so another good place as well is Slack. So if you never used Slack before, I don't know what it is. It's basically like a tool that a lot of companies use internally to communicate with each other. So there's actually slacks as well for, you know, communities like iOS developer communities. So this um, Slack that I'm actually showing you right now is specifically for, you know, iOS developers. And there's a whole bunch of channels relating to getting help, career advice, 
pull reviews, um, indie development, all that is in this Slack channel. So there's one channel in the Slack channel though called Job Board and inside of this Slack channel, you can basically see jobs that people are posting for their companies. So if you're someone who is interested again, like similar to my point before, networking with other developers and just basically getting advice, and getting career advice, getting code reviews to improve your code, all that other good stuff as well, as well as seeing what jobs are out there. So if you're actually really active on Stack Overflow, now I'm not really active um, on it myself for other reasons, but if you are someone who is active on it, then basically um, there actually is a job board on Stack Overflow. So you can actually apply for jobs as well using your Stack Overflow profile as well, which um, if you've answered a lot of questions, you obviously have a lot of points and all that good stuff. But essentially here, there's a job board with some really interesting companies as well. And you can see there's some um, jobs where they're remote or full time or whatever suits your fancy. And a lot of these are like, um, you know, a mixture of agencies and companies as well. Another thing you can do as well is you can actually look for, um, you know, different types of benefits that you may want, which is really interesting and it's really cool in my opinion. Now, this is more of a tip. So if you're someone, again, who's new to iOS development, um, I'd highly recommend maybe getting started in, you know, contributing to open source. So if you don't know what open source is, it's basically like people have put projects online and you can contribute to them to make them better. So it's basically like a collaborative project, but you know, it can be internationally. So one of the benefits of being working on an open source project is that you basically learn how to work in a team and um, because you can't, it's not just you, you're working with other people was a common goal. So another thing as well is you'll actually pick up tips in terms of using stuff like version control and Git and whatnot. Now I'm actually going to have a series coming out on my channel very, very soon where I actually go through how to use version control and Git as well. But just looking at this now, so here's a list on this, on this repo called open source iOS apps. And I've already opened up um, two tabs that I thought were interesting that are relating to like Swift UI. So if you go into this one here, there's actually a Swift UI um, open source project that you can actually um, contribute to. And if you basically look here, you can actually download this and you can make improvements to it if you see any improvements. So I'd highly recommend that you get involved in open source projects in both UI kit and also Swift UI and just basically go through these topics here and just see which ones interest you and just look at the projects and see how you can contribute to them. All right. And I think the final bit of advice that I will give you is simply to enjoy the process. Now you've got to remember as well, you may be looking for a job and you might get one in a month's time. You may get one in a year or two years or whenever it is. I think the main thing that you need to focus on is the fact that you're basically continuously improving every single day and that everyone's journey is different. What might take you a month to get into a big company like a Facebook might take someone like me five years to get into a company like Facebook. So everyone's journey is different. Enjoy the process. Keep learning about iOS development. Keep enjoying. Keep on networking. Enjoy life. And everything's gonna be all good in it so that's everything from to, from me today in this video if you enjoyed the video i'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also as well if you have any feedback or if you have any other interesting sites or tips that i may not have mentioned in this video leave it in the comment section below because that will help other people watching this out also as well really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and that's everything from me i'll catch you all in a bit deuces